So here they say the Uber CEO, you know, my favorite friend there, Dara Koshashawi, uh, the Uber CEO balks after a reporter tells him the cost of his 2.9 mile Uber ride. So the, uh, Uber, the reporter takes a trip to interview him and said, oh, by the way, I drove for 2.9 miles, right? And this is what it cost me. And he goes, oh my God, wow. If that is not the fakest reaction, Dara Koshashawi knows he increased those rape rates, right? For the riders and passengers. He knows that he instructed the company to jack up the prices through the roof so him and his cronies can make the big bucks, right? So don't act surprised. They're, oh my God, I did not know that. You signed off on that fool, right? You gave the green light, right? And what I would do, dear reporter, here, hand him the reimbursement, right? You're doing him a favor. You are publicizing his latest and greatest little shenanigans. So he should pay you and reimburse you for that 2.9 mile. Make sure you get paid. Um, don't think that Dara Koshashawi is quite the individual that would reimburse you, Mr. Math. So um, the price of an Uber ride can catch you off guard, even if you're the company CEO. It didn't catch him off guard. That was a fake reaction. Oh my God, right? He knows exactly, he knows exactly what his company is charging individuals for two trips. The sad thing is he also knows that 70 to 80% of that 2.9 mile trip goes into the investors and the executives uh, pockets and the overheads of the company, right? The driver, unfortunately, what would have been even more, what would have been the cherry on the cake, my friends, if the driver said, oh, by the way, the reporter said, oh, by the way, and I asked the driver how much he got of that, and it was only 20%. What's going on, Dara? So Uber CEO Dara Koshishawi was surprised when he learned an interviewer paid $20, ladies and gentlemen, $20 for a 2.95 mile ride. I would walk that 2.95, good exercise, right? But so how much, if the reporter could do a follow-up video for us, um, how much did your driver get out of that $20? And, and to act surprised, he knows, ladies and gentlemen, he knows, he is as fake as he looks, right? Uber prices have surged in recent years due to inflation and a pandemic era driver shortage. And many people have experienced sticker shock at an Uber's prices before, and the company's own chief executive is no exception. Wired editor at large, Stephen Levy, took a 2.95 mile ride from downtown New York City to the west side to meet Uber CEO Darrell Koshishawi. When asked to estimate the cost of the ride, Koshishawi put it as 20 bucks. His en et oh, sorry, he put it as at 20 bucks. His estimated, as it turned out, was less than half, ladies and gentlemen, than the actual price of $51.69, including a tip for the driver, right? $51.69. Oh my God, wow. And he knows, right? Um, and that wasn't the worst of it. When Levy first tried to book an Uber ride for the interview, the price was $20 higher, he said. Koshishawi chalked that up to surge pricing, though, as Levy noted, it's 10 a.m. on a sunny weekday and it's not like it's it's not like the president's in town. So I'm very happy this reporter called him out on his shenanigans, right? On the BS, this guy serves on a platter. Everything is more expensive. Inflation has become a part of our everyday life. Koshishawi, now, now he has to... Um, shift the blame and blame it on inflation and other things, right? With Uber, the vast majority of your fare is going to your driver. With Uber, the vast majority, oh my God, does that not get me pissed off, right? Here, this is Kosher Shawi. With Uber, the vast majority of your fare is going to your driver. Earnings per week for our drivers are up to 40 to 50% over the past four years. They're not up, dude. They're down. Why are you lying like these politicians, right?
Why are you putting fake news out there, right? And saying that drivers are getting 40 to 50% more and the driver gets the bulk. I mean, if that is not the most brazen, blatant lie, I don't know. Um, so he goes, because that is the cost of time and the cost of labor. I think it's positive. The cost of rides from ride hailing apps like Uber and Lyft skyrocketed 92% from 2018 to 2021. CNBC reported that year, citing data from Rakuten Intelligence. Uber fares in April 2021 were up 40% year over year, according to the Rakuten data. Koshu Shawi vowed at the time that prices would return to nearly the good old days by September 2021. Still earlier this year, the UCLA Labor Center found that from February 2019 to April 2022, there was an increase of 50% for the median passenger fare. So not only that, are they raping the passengers, right, by jacking up the prices. And, and passengers and riders, you need to protest as well, right? You need to get on social media. It's unacceptable. But instead of, I mean, instead of lying to this reporter, what he should have said is, yeah, we jacked up the prices for the passenger and we took away from the driver. You did not increase. Let me repeat this, Dara Koshisho. I don't know what, what world you or your family live in, but you did not increase the fares for drivers. You did not increase the earnings. The only thing you did was jack up passenger fares through the roof, feeding your greed, feeding your ego and taking away from the drivers. Period. End of story. Right. Because has previously attributed some of the company's recent growth to inflation and a shortage of drivers. But by a shortage of drivers, ladies and gentlemen, why is there a shortage of drivers? It's because they're not being paid. Right. So which is a complete contradiction here. Right. So if he says, oh, it's attributed to a shortage of drivers. Koshishawi, let me remind you. There would not be a shortage of drivers if you were paying them correctly. So you're completely contradicting yourself. But by last August, the company reported reaching a record high 5 million drivers worldwide, up 31% from year prior. We have a very strong flow of new drivers who are signing up, working a bit and leaving us, right? Coming on to earn, Koshi Shawi said at the time. Over 70% of them have said that inflation and what they're seeing right now in terms of the cost of groceries, of cost of living plays a part in that decision for them to come onto the platform. Some of the price increases are also attributable to the fact that Uber is no longer subsidizing rides on a quest for growth and is instead focusing on profit. Um, it seems focusing on profit to the detriment of the driver, I would say, and to the detriment of the passenger. It seems to be working. On Monday, Koshisha, we announced Uber's First ever operating profit. However, uh, Q2 earnings, uh, the stocks went down. Wall Street did not like what they saw. I'm going to do a follow-up video on that as well. Um, so $51.69. sixty $51.69 for that 2.9 mile Uber ride. Oh my God, wow, he says. Your comments, please. My ladies and gentlemen, huge shout out to our sponsor, Gig Rocket. The link is below. If you were deactivated, let us help you file an appeal and let us also help you with a small claim so you can get your lost earnings back. The link is right below. Have a great day, my friends. And hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Thank you, my friends.